This is the dashboard. This is where you do everything to configure, manage, control all of your websites. Over here is all the important stuff, right? The domains are the uh, web addresses you own, so you can click it and click Manage Domains. You can see we already have our domain on here and it is processing. If you see that little clock right there. You can close domains and go to Goodies and you can find MySQL databases. Here is where you're going to create your database that's going to power the back end of your website. That, in addition to PHP, allows you to make dynamic, really cool websites. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put a database name. So we're just going to put PHP MySQL tutorial hostname. Yep, that looks great. Then you're going to want to create a username. I'm making all of these very similar. <laughs> so if you want some more security, you can mix things up. But I'm just keeping it simple for the tutorial. You're going to want to take note of all of these things. So we have a database name, a host name, a username of an account that can access the database, and the password for that username. You're going to need these later. And why not? I'm just going to put the password in here so I don't forget. <laughs> Talk about really high level security. Add the database. And there you go. Now that that's done, we can go check on our domain. As you can see, that is still processing. So in the meantime, maybe I can teach you guys some other stuff. The first thing is that you can actually add new subdomains here. So if you want to add another website and you want to use the free subdomain, you can just put it right here. This is going to allow you to create another website if you need. Just so you guys know, that way if you want to try some other things, you don't have to erase your old website. I think that's good for now. We will continue in the next video. So that's the username and password. What about this host? Well, there's two options here. Either the web address of the website, so you could be like 